Hello everyone, this is Jan from Organics 50 and Raw, and I hope you guys are having a very wonderful and blessed day. I am, and uh, it's been a great day. I wanted to share with you guys um, what I bought my daughter and her husband for their wedding on Saturday. Um, they wanted a juicer, and so, um, her, her husband worked at a place in Dallas called The Juice Bar, and there he learned how to make a lot of different um, juices using um, Breville, using the Norwalk, and they had different juice combinations. And he no longer works there, but he really saw the benefits of drinking juice. And of course, my daughter was raised with me and has also for many years um, known of the benefits of drinking juice. So since they're going to be now living together because they're married um they want to focus on getting healthier and so um, when i asked them would they like to have a vitamix or a juicer they asked me if i would get them a juicer so i set out to do some research because i want them to have a really good juicer um so i wanted to do share with you guys why i chose the juicer for them that i chose which is i I chose for them um, it was it is the try best slow star juicer so um, I'll I don't have it of course because it's with them but I'll put a couple pictures so you can kind of see what it's like so the juicers that I own I own three juicers currently um, my very first juicer that I bought was a champion before I continue though there are some people um, that that um, maybe don't know the difference between juicing and a smoothie. So I wanna just explain that because I do see when I talk to people some confusion, people think a smoothie is juice and it isn't. When you make a smoothie, it leaves a pulp in. A smoothie is made in a blender and the pulp remains in. When you make juice, you're taking the fiber out and you are left with um, just the juice. You should drink juice on an empty stomach because it's going to go in your stomach it really does not require much digestion at all because the fiber is out of it so it goes in your stomach and then it goes BAM out to every cell in your body so you don't want to drink juice after a heavy meal or after eating nuts or really even fruit because it goes in your stomach and it's ready to go out and if you leave it sitting there in your stomach it's going to maybe cause gas or you know it will be as effective as if you had just made it and drank it right away so I really want people to be clear on that because I know some of the people that I talk to are not so a smoothie is made in a blender it has fiber in it it is slower digesting it is very good for you as well it's also detoxifying but a juice has the fiber removed it is very very detoxifying and should be taken on an empty stomach so my next question that people ask me is well which one's best and um, they're both good for you um, I, I try and get both types in me every day I definitely drink smoothies every day and I try and get juice in me every day whether it's wheatgrass juice or whether I get my juice out and actually do something but here's my answer the best between a smoothie and a juicer is the one that you will do most often um, and what I have found is that most people are more often to make a smoothie than they are to juice because juicing is more um, labor intensive than making a smoothie. But you have to decide that for yourself. What will you use more, a juicer or a blender? And then start there. Later on, you can get the other one. Um, you know, that's a place to start. So moving forward, my very first juicer was a champion juicer and I still have it. Champion juicer is a workhorse and I'm gonna put a picture right now of a champion juicer. Bam. Okay, so I have an old champion juicer. It has a one horsepower motor. It has a single gear in the middle and it turns and I'm not sure of the RPMs of that but it's really good for juicing hard vegetables, uh, like carrots, beets, um, you know, um, 
ginger, stuff like that. It is not so efficient at juicing the leafy greens. Um, but it is a good juicer and I still have it. I paid $200 for it. I think they're more, more expensive now. Uh, maybe $250, maybe $299, I'm not exactly sure. So I still have that and I plan on keeping that. You can also use it to make nut butters. And um, frozen, it'll, it'll do a really good job with frozen bananas and make some ice cream out of it. The other juicer that I have is, this was my second juicer, is my Breville juicer. I hope you can see that. Now, um, this Breville juicer I purchased because I thought it would be easier to clean than, um, oh, sorry, I thought I had some clients coming in. I thought it would be easier to clean than my Champion, which would mean that I would use it more. And um, it was not easier to clean. But what I did like about the Breville is the huge hole on the top where you can, hello, can you see me? So you can feed large chunks of carrots through here, whereas on the Champion, you have to cut your carrots into much smaller pieces. Now, a Breville does not have an auger that turns. That The Champion is a masticating juicer. It retains more of the enzymes than a Breville does because a Breville uses centrifugal force, so it has a basket. And, and into the basket goes your produce. It has a lot of little teeth up here. And using the centrifugal force, this machine goes at about 13,000 RPMs. So this is really fast. Now, this is a juicer I really don't use a lot. Um, this juicer does oxidize your juice um, more than the Champion does. So the, in other words, the quality of juice that you're gonna get from the Breville is not the quality that you would get from the Champion or another juicer that is not centrifugal force. So using a centrifugal force, which means a spinning basket, your juice quality is not as great as a masticating juicer or an auger juicer. So this juicer is a great place to start, but it was $200. It is not easier to clean than my Champion. So if I was to choose between, if I was to tell you, okay, get a Champion or get a Breville, I would say get a Champion because you will get a higher quality juice out of the Champion for the same amount of money as the Breville. And I, do, I know they do have like a $100 Breville, um, if you only have $50 to spend on a juicer, go to Walmart and get one and just start juicing. That's, that's, um, that's what I think. Just, you know, get a juice. Even if you just drink juice twice a week and you're making smoothies the rest of the week, great, you know, go for it. Um, but yeah, the Breville was my second juicer. Now my third juicer, I actually got for, actually purchased for my wheatgrass. And I knew for um, making my wheatgrass, I would need a very slow RPM juicer. It would go very slow because wheatgrass is very delicate. If I put it in my Champion, my Champion will just spit it out and I'll get, it will destroy anything that comes out of it. I can't put it in here because this is way too fast. Uh, 13,000 RPMs is way too fast. So I knew I needed a very slow auger juicer. So I researched and I did buy this Omega. Can you see that? It's the Omega Nutrition Center 8006. I want you guys to see that. Now, why I really like this is it has a low rotation speed of 80 RPMs for maximum nutrition, healthier and longer lasting juice. So I use this for my wheatgrass for I make a uh, ginger shot, um, I'll juice the ginger, I'll juice the turmeric, I'll juice the wheatgrass, mix it up and take a little a shooter with it. You, but you can also use that also for juicing carrots and beets and anything else that you want to juice. So that, I really like that juicer and it's very, very easy to clean. Um, so I do recommend that juicer. But that is not the one I got for my daughter. Um, doing the research, I ended up getting them a, um, it's called a Slow Star Try Best Juicer. Slow Star Try Best Juicer. Now this one, I'll put a picture of it right here. Bam! Okay. 
Um, this this is a new one, and I I follow John Kohler from um, OK Raw on the YouTube channel, and he did a uh, 2015 Best Juicer of the Year, and this one is, was his number one Best Juicer, and out of five, he reviewed five of them. And um, it has a top feeder, like the Breville. Like on the Breville, I like how the produce goes in the top. On the Champion, it goes in the top and it has a long spout and comes out the bottom. And on the Omega, it's the same thing. So the, the Tribest Low Star Juicer, it was my most expensive investment into a juicer. It's $379, but I wanted them to have a good juicer that would last them a long time because chances are they probably won't buy themselves another juicer for many, many, many years. Um, but the Tribest juicer, it, had, it also can make nut butters. It has, out of all the juicers that I have, it has the lowest RPMs, which is 47 RPMs. And that is really good because the slower the RPMs, the less enzymes that gets destroyed when you are extracting the juice from the vegetables or fruits. Um, this is a juicer that I would like to have. This is a juicer I would buy for myself if I was to get another juicer. I, I do really like the top feed on it. Um, and you, it's got a big open mouth like the Breville so you don't have to cut the fruits and vegetables so small like the Champion. Um, it is a single auger, you can store your juice. It says up to 72 hours, but of course once you get the juice, you extract the juice from the fruit, your juice starts to oxidize so it's best to store it. It's best to just drink it right away, but if you can't, it's best to store it in a container that you can get out most of the air as much you know, the little air as possible. Um, so John Kohler has a review on this juicer and I'm gonna put the link to it below the video so that if you guys are looking for a really good juicer, um, you can check out his, his videos. He, he has two channels. He has a gardening channel and he also has his OK Raw channel. And I really do enjoy listening to his videos, John Kohler. He's been a raw um, food, um, uh, eating a raw food diet for several years. And he makes really informative videos. So that's a, a video I want to share with you guys today. The juicer that I got my daughter and her husband for their wedding. And um, hope they enjoy it. Because if they don't, then I'm going to go get it. And I'll enjoy it. <laughs> okay, you guys. Bye.